welcome to another episode of Crankin' Out Crafts. My name is Jay Flo, and today we're going to kick off our mosaic week. So in order to do that, let me show you some supplies that you'll need. Today we're going to start off with these glass tiles. They come in different shapes at our store, and we're going to use this pointed teardrop, is what I'll call it, um, today to make flower petals and put it on top of this petri dish that we have. Okay, so the other factors that we're gonna need, these are alcohol inks right here, and I have a silver, and then this color is called watermelon, and the blending solution. I'm going to take a combination of all three of these. First, take the watermelon color, and just put a few drops on here, and then I'll take some of the silver, put a few dabs, and then some blending solution to blend those colors together. What we're about to do is change the color of these clear tiles to um, something a little more fun. And ta-da, you can see it here on these. I'm gonna quickly stamp these out, and I just kinda let it go and then stamp. I'm gonna set those aside. They're gonna be dry in a matter of seconds. And I've arranged some things on this Petri dish as well, some that we've already done that are absolutely dry. And I'm just gonna take some of the E6000, and you can see it's oozing out a little bit, and put a little bit on the back and then arrange. Do a couple more and make this nice kind of flowery arrangement on the side. I like that. Like that. Then I'll do another one over here. Um, alcohol inks is great because they dry really quickly. They work on slick surfaces. They won't come off unless you use blending solution. So you could actually wash or get them wet and they won't, the color won't come off. I kind of like just those few there. But these that I just did, they're already dry. So I'm going to arrange them on my Petri dish on this edge. And then for the final touch, we're going to add some glitter on the inside to complete the project. You can do the glitter part before or after you add your design on the top. So there's my design. You're going to want to let the E6000 dry completely, otherwise all your gems are going to fall off if you turn it upside down. So. To show you how to get this glitter on, I'm just going to use another lid. Isn't that pretty? <laughs> okay, brand new lid. And we're going to take glitter it. And I turn the lid upside down, so we're actually using the inside of the lid. I'm going to use a generous amount of glitter it and then swirl it around inside the lid to make sure we coat everything all around. And as I coat that, you can even use a paintbrush to make sure it gets everywhere. I don't have one on hand, so I'm just gonna use my finger <laughs> really quick just to rub that all around. Then I've got a funnel here. We just got these cool little funnels that we can pour the excess right back in very neatly and tidy into there and then finally take our glitter glitter trays are wonderful you can just set it on there and sprinkle your glitter look how nicely that moves around and then tap off the excess and look how beautiful that top is. Now with that top, then you can add your mosaic tiles. You can do that step last or first, depending on what you wanna do. But this is how beautiful and our finished project and how it will look. 
so we hope you give this mosaic alcohol ink tile thing a try. <laughs>